15 most dangerous beaches in the world. From toxic waters to nature just rejecting you being there, here are 15 of the most dangerous beaches in the world. Number 15, Reunion Island, France. Located near the coast of Madagascar, this tropical getaway was a surfer's dream. But since 2011, when six shark attacks were reported, this place started to receive fewer and fewer tourists every year. Over time, the problem has only gotten worse. The sharks have made this beach their home and are steadily driving tourists away. The last known attack happened during the winter of 2017 and was fatal for one unfortunate surfer. The fear of shark attacks has negatively affected the local tourism. The local economy that is strongly dependent on the flow of tourists is in trouble. This might just be nature's way of saying enough is enough and claiming back that territory that was once used for recreational activities. It is great that local wildlife is thriving and that the reduced flow of people will help the preservation of this beautiful place, but nature has a cruel way of relating its messages. Number 14, Shaopati Beach, India. If you ever find yourself in Mumbai, you won't easily run out of points of interest to visit. If you miss this place, it might be for the better. This Indian beach is dangerously toxic and there's no tendency for it to get any better in the upcoming years. Chow Patti, which strangely enough is swarming with tourists, is dangerously polluted, with an incredible combination of untreated sewage, garbage, and sunken coal. It is one of the most toxic beaches on the whole planet. It is not forbidden to go for a swim, but I wouldn't recommend risking it, and why would you? The only reason for someone to willingly go into those waters is either to end his earthly stay or to mutate like an X-Men. Number 13, Playa Zipulite, Mexico. The west coast of Mexico has an incredible nature view that you'll have a hard time finding anywhere else in the country. This is especially true for the southern coastal town of Zipulite, where tourists gather to explore the rocky slopes and rough seas. One reason for the large number of visitors might be the fact that Zipulite is the only nudist beach in Mexico. While the views might be once in a lifetime, don't succumb to the temptation to go for a swim in these beautiful waters. The powerful currents and big waves crowned Zipulite with the nickname of the Beach of the Dead. My advice is to skip the swimming part entirely and focus on getting an amazing bronze tan while enjoying the beauty of nature there. You wouldn't want to go for a swim and experience the horrible feeling of being swept away or thrown around by the incredibly powerful waves. You know what they say about curiosity killing the cat, and we as people are in a disadvantaged position in comparison to cats. Let's not forget they have eight more lives than we do. Number 12, Gansby, South Africa. Is there anything to dislike about the beach where crystal clear waters meets incredible picturesque sand? While Gansby Beach is an incredible looking place, it is the home of the notorious Shark Alley. Just the name can make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up, and I do believe that this is sufficient to deter you away from going into the water. You might wonder why so many sharks made this place their permanent residence, and the answer lies within the 60,000 sea lions that gather there each year from April to September. The sharks figured out that this was an annual thing for the sea lions and decided to arrive uninvited. So yeah, going into the water would be close to suicide. There is a way for you to safely go into the water and that is to sign up for cage diving. There are two benefits to doing that. The first one is that you will be safe behind the metal bars, while the second one is that you will be able to see the magnificent predators in their natural habitat. Number 11, Boa Via Gem Beach, Brazil. Brazil has an incredibly long coastline and some of the most attractive and scenic beaches in the world. But if you visit Recife, an old favorite among surfers, it is better to place this beach on your big no-no list. Boa Via Gem Beach is one of the most dangerous, shark-infested beaches in the world. This place is notorious for the 56 attacks that took place here in the last 20 years. And a worse statistic is that the morality rate of the people attacked is 37%. The shark's route passes in close proximity to this beach and they tend to hunt in shallow waters. The tourism in the area made things worse due to the construction of buildings, destruction of marine life, and the natural sources of food for the finned swimming killing machines. The only thing the sharks are trying to do is adapt and find something to eat. So the best thing for us to do is to just stay out of the water so we don't become a target for the hungry ancient predator. Number 10, Hanakapae Beach, Hawaii. Hanakapai Beach has golden sands, black rocks, and endless blue sea. But beware of the temptation of this kawaii paradise. 
The seductive waters of this beachfront have incredibly strong riptides that have killed many uninformed swimmers. The reason for the danger? There are no coral reefs to protect the area. Due to the dangerous nature of this beach, there is no major access road. That requires people looking for that place to find their way there by walking on rocks over streams and waterfalls. The beach is beyond the stream Hanakapae, a river that is much more suitable for swimming than the ocean. Number 9. States Beach, United Kingdom Usually, the most beautiful beaches in the world are the most dangerous ones. You won't be in the minority if you decide to skip going into the waters at States Beach. Only the most daring of adventurers would ever consider going for a swim in the States. Often on the EU's No Swim list, this beach is well known for its incredibly high levels of pollution due to all the garbage there. Local farms' wastewater drains into the nearby port, raising the water pollution levels to a dangerous level. Swimming in these waters can cause diarrhea, E. coli, meningitis, typhoid fever, and hepatitis A. The only things you are going to get in the terms of memories from jumping into the water at this place are going to be the trips to the hospital and countless medical treatments. This beach doesn't even look that appealing in the first place, and yet there are still people that try their luck going for a dip in the dirty water. Why is this such a trend is beyond me. As long as you know that something is dangerous for your health, you should stay far away from it. Yet again, I don't see myself quitting drinking anytime soon, so… Number 8. Fraser Island, Australia The beaches of Fraser Island are dangerous. It doesn't matter if you are on the shore or in the water. In recent years, the island has been flooded by Iru kanji, one of the most poisonous jellyfish species in the world. If you get stung by these tiny sea creatures, you are in for a wild and horrible ride of a lifetime. You might go through abdominal pain, vomiting, sweating, anxiety, hypertension, and in extreme cases, fatal cardiac arrest. And all of that comes from a creature that you could barely notice in the water. Several attacks of the Iru kanji have been reported on the island in the last years, so going for a swim is out of the question if you value your life, of course. The island also hosts between 25 and 30 packs of wild dingoes, a type of dog that is native to Australia. These four-legged beasts are known to have attacked people in the past, and there's nothing that might stop them from doing it again. Oh, Australia, what did we do to deserve all these dangers that you have for us? And now for number 7. But first, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on more videos like these. Number 7. Cape Tribulation, Australia You will not find the scarcity of misery on this beach, which is true to its name. Situated along the Queensland coast, it encourages you to go and visit with its incredible beautiful sand and turquoise waters. But keep something in mind. Dozens of natural traps await you there. If you're going for a swim, it is recommended to wear a string suit since the waters are full of aggressive jellyfish. This is your first red flag. Let's say that you are already wearing a proper swimming suit. You might think that it's all good, but let me inform you that there are plenty of saltwater crocodiles lurking in the waters, and scientists haven't yet invented a suit that will save you from a crocodile attack. You must also not forget that the Cape is home to cassowaries, flightless birds, and ostriches that can hurt you pretty badly if they decide you're a threat. Did I mention that flora there is also out to get you? This area is the home of the notorious stinging trees that have sharp enough leaves that can cut your skin. It seems like everything in this place wants you to stay away, and you better be well prepared or stay out of there entirely. Number 6. Amazon River Beaches, Brazil Going to the Amazon rainforest is a dream for many adventurers. With all the humidity and heat at a certain point, you will be begging for a refreshment. You might think, what the heck, and head towards the waters of the Amazon River for a quick dip. But the only thing that you would achieve will be to put yourself in a world of hurt. Don't get me wrong, the water might look tempting and most certainly is, but the problem is what lies beneath the calm surface. These treacherous waters are a breeding ground for electric eels, anacondas, piranhas, and the terrifying kandiru. If you have never heard of it before in your life, I do believe that you will never forget it as soon as I tell you what it can do to you. This creature is a parasitic fish that finds entry to the human body from any opening. Yes, any opening. You wouldn't want to know what it can do to you once it gains entrance. And I'm not saying anything more on the topic. So Google it if you are so inclined. Number 5. New Smyrna Beach, Florida Surfers coming to the Atlantic coast of Florida for epic waves take on an incredible risk. They must be careful because these incredible waves are a paradise for sharks. This beach is one of the most dangerous in the world because of its shark-contaminated waters. Florida has an average of 29 shark bites a year, and a great part of these attacks occurred along this stretch of shore. Shark attacks have been rarer lately, but the New Smyrna Beach remains one of the most terrifying beaches on the planet. 
If you're really looking for an adrenaline experience that includes sharks, just go to the Jaws ride at Universal Studios. And if that's not your thing, remember to just stay out of the water. Number 4. Utaklev Beach, Norway If you want to enjoy Utaklev, you better bring a wetsuit. The Lofoten Islands in Norway are amazing, no doubt. They are also some of the best places to see the Northern Lights from. But even though the beaches and shores seem nice for a quick dip, it is better to stay on dry land. Islands north of the Arctic Circle are surrounded by waters that are between 46 and 57 degrees Fahrenheit. And for your information, any water below 60 degrees Fahrenheit is extremely dangerous and immediately life-threatening to the human body. The views might look amazing and the water might be more than inviting, but your best bet is to stay on terra firma. If by any chance a polar bear is watching this video, I must inform Mr. or Mrs. Bear that the no swimming warning does not apply to them. Your fur coat and fat deposits will be more than efficient isolators against the cold water. To everybody else watching this video that is not a bear, stay out of the water if you value your life. Number 3. Bikini Atoll, U.S. Marshall Islands This amazing island in the South Pacific in Micronesia has a sinister past. While free from sharks and crime, the U.S. Army used it for nuclear testing from 1946 to 1958. Today, its beaches are technically open to tourists, but because of radiation contamination, locally grown produce is considered dangerous to eat. Luckily, there are more than 600 islands in Micronesia, so if the location is on your travel schedule, you can choose an island that looks more like an exotic island paradise and less like a Chernobyl radiation experience. Number 2. Kila'ue Beaches, Hawaii The beaches near Kila'ue Volcano in Hawaii are incredibly beautiful and tempting sights and maybe this has something to do with their black sands that gently meet the crystal blue ocean. Everything sounds nice and dandy until you find out that Kila'ue spent the bigger part of the last 35 years erupting almost continuously. All of the molten lava goes straight into the ocean and whether you like it or not, the water temperatures at these points rose over 100 degree marks. This is the same volcano that exploded in May 2018, destroying people's homes and possessions and causing part of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park to close. If it wasn't for the water temperature, these beaches would be safe, but sadly, they aren't. If you decide to go for a swim there, the water will definitely scold you, and you won't have great memories from your summer vacation. If you made a beach video during your stay, it would most likely be titled, That Time I Was Almost Boiled Alive, and that is not pleasant film material to show anyone. Number 1. Skeleton Coast, Namibia This coastline is properly named. The Benguela Deadly Current not only regularly causes shipwrecks, but also the surrounding waters are home to 11 species of sharks. The remains of many ships give a ghostly atmosphere to the Skeleton Coast. Oh, and predators such as lions and hyenas can be found patrolling the beach. Not surprisingly, Portuguese navigators also had another name for this coast, and it was the Gates of Hell. Imagine crashing your ship there just to be attacked by lions or hyenas. Things can't get any worse than that, I presume. Thanks for watching. Which of these did you find most dangerous? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!